Welcome to the BMM Racing unboxing review of the Spectrum DX3R. Upon opening the box you will first see the colour instruction manual and also the Spectrum sticker sheet. Let's take the box lid off here and have a closer look at the content inside the box. First off we'll start with the DSM-2 receiver. This is a new addition to the Spectrum range and the DSM-2 brings quite a few unique features. Model match being one of the main ones as well as a faster response time. These are the conversion parts to convert the DX3R into a left handed model. And these are the part for the gun section on the handle. A traditional four cell battery holder. We recommend only using alkaline batteries in these as a rechargeable pack would not create the correct voltage required. A traditional two way switch. And the standard spectrum bind plug for binding new receivers or even existing receivers to the DX3R. Let's have a close look at the transmitter itself. As you can see, a very slender design, large LCD display, the signature small spectrum aerial, rubberized grips on the handle, and four batteries are used to power this unit. These can be rechargeable if required. Let's power up the unit and show you a couple of the menus. As you can see, the home screen at first. This displays battery voltage and trim presets. You activate the menus via the scroll button at the very base of the screen. This makes navigating through the menus very easy. We'll pick up on a couple of the key points that this radio has. Steering and throttle reserves there, sub trims. Timer, very handy function for pit stops. The binding section, unlike other Spectrum radios, this uses a integrated binding menu, unlike a specific button used on other Spectrum models, more professional. The factory reset and monitor settings, and then general system presets. Thank you for watching the BMM Racing Review of the Spectrum DX3R.